All right, she's looking over here now. Men calling. Giving us a good view now. Looking back over towards the nest, and he's on the to her left there. She's trying to call him in for a mating session. All right, turn around. Give this the front side now. All right, now you can see all the orange on her. Looking really nice. She's got those wonderful colors. She's looking really good. They've been busy working on the nest and everything. Now she wants him to come in here. And there she goes. All right, she's sailing in with her stick now, and there she is. Oh, just a talking. They're all excited. He's doing his sticks in, weaving them, then she comes in, puts her stick in. Oh, yeah. They're getting everything all squared away. After they do the sticks, they put a little bit of cedar bark in there, a little chunks, so that when the eggs are laid, they lay on that. And I've noticed a couple of Cooper Hawk nests, they do that. They line it with cedar bark chips, the little flat ones. And uh, it seems to be a tradition for Cooper Hawks. Well, the sun's coming in good now, and she's going to keep working on the nest here. I'll watch very closely and yeah she knows she's going to be sitting in that nest for 30 some days once she gets her eggs in there so she's just wanting it just right nice and comfortable. They've been working together this morning doing good communicating back and forth and putting in the twigs had a mating session so everything's going good. Oh yeah, I hear the other birds saying, yeah, she's just kind of testing out the nest now. Her head sticking up there and... Oh yeah, now she's working down a little lower there. But they made it really deep, so when it comes time for incubation, when she's laying there, you won't be able to see her, so... All right. She's going to turn around this way a little bit. All right, maybe she's going to say, all right, sailing out. All right, the male just flew in the tree, and he should be sailing over here and see what happens with the mating. I'll back off a little bit. There we go. Crows are up in the tree making a ruckus. And he's coming in. They're going to do a little mating session there. All right. Went to get another twig. So he's not going to join her yet. But she's calling to him. He went over to get another stick. She's calling to him again. We'll see what happens here. He's right in the tree next to her. He just put a stick in the nest, so he's sitting close. All right, there she goes. Well, there he is. He just brought her some food. She left her perch and sailed over here, and they've been communicating. He delivered the snack. There he is. He's all happy with himself. She's having a little snack right now. Oh, yeah. Sitting there. I might be able to come in just a little bit closer on him. But she's in the big fir tree. That's where she usually eats the food. And there he is. Oh, yeah. He's a happy camper. He did his job. Look at that. Now you can see his red eyes. So he just landed there, 
and the big fur called her in. She flew over, gave her the hand off the food, went over, checked the nest. Yeah, she's waiting for him to come down on the limb and join her here. He's been flying around, going back and forth to the nest. We'll, we'll see what happens here. She's looking over there for him now. Here she's calling. All right, here he comes. Oh, I made him. Oh, I got a couple of happy campers there. I had a good honeymoon there. All right, that's a male there. It's, this guy's on the right-hand side. And that's their ritual. Put the sticks in the nest and do a little calling, and then here they are. So we have two happy Cooper hawks here trying to make some Easter eggs. So. Oh yeah, there she tells him to go get busy. How about that? All right. Well, isn't that something? Okay, come back in on her a little bit here. Listen to her call. All right. 